Going on guys, welcome back to another video. Just a short one today, just a video I've been wanting to do for a while. If you've seen the cash game reviews and the stuff, the other stuff on the channel, you'll know that I like to go on rants quite often and I always talk about focus and stuff like that. And it's led me to just make this video of just, I think three things that are just really not considered enough when people play poker. So I think these three things for me especially definitely affected my win rate overall. I have to really make sure I pay attention to these things. And honestly, I don't think enough people talk about them. They always just talk about, you know, solvers and shit like that, and then break back and, and stuff. And I think that there's more to poker, and this is any any kind of poker, whether you're playing live games, whether you're playing online, whether you're playing tournaments or cash games. So these three things are, are three things that people don't necessarily consider and I think they should be considered more more so than, than, than anything else. So let's get into it. And the first thing is focus. What I mean by focus as well, it's not just that you're paying attention to the game, which is a given, you should be paying attention because it's, it's a mind game. You know, it's not a physical, it's not a physical competition. It, it's something that you really need to be thinking about consistently. So obviously we should be focused whenever we're playing, but it also just, I think people underappreciate how different you're going to play when you're not in a good mental state. So for example, if you've been drinking or you're really hungover or tired or just, you know, you're, you're, you're anxious, you're just not going to be making correct plays. You're not going to be playing perfect poker. But I honestly think that people aren't considering it enough that they're just going out and playing, especially the, the lower stakes because they want to put loads of hours in. They want to move up, get out of micros. Nobody wants to be playing 10 and L for like, you know, a year at a time or something like that. So people just, you know, they just start firing day after day, regardless of how they're actually feeling and how they're actually playing. And they're probably not focusing throughout this, which leads me on to the next point of they'll want to play multiple tables as well. So for those that don't know, I tried doing a 100K bankroll challenge on Party Poker, mainly because I was looking at the, the games, the rake back and stuff like that. And I was thinking, okay, yeah, if I put in lots and lots of hours into this and play every single day with the rake back and the bonuses that they had, I figured that in the course of 12 months, I could make... I could turn 10K into 100K. And I quickly learned really that it's just it just wasn't for me. I still think to this day that if, if you put me in those games, I could beat those games, but not in that I was playing. I was having to play every day pretty much. I was playing however many hours a day. I was playing up to eight tables of fast forward. So you, there's just no way you can fully focus on that. And my graph literally just shows that. If you have a look here, you can see that this is, I, I did run bad as well. Like I, I don't think I ran particularly well throughout this, but at the same time, I don't think my results would have been this bad had I not been eight tabling, had I, had I been playing only when I wanted to play and playing, you know, not playing for rate back and such. The same actually came even a couple of months ago when I was playing 100 zoom on stars. I had like the rate back challenges, which are pretty good value to be fair, but I ended up because I wasn't playing for one week of the month or whatever, the last week I ended up having to put in a lot of volume and I really, really didn't want to play, which meant first of all, I wasn't focusing like I should and I wasn't playing as good as I know I can. But secondly, that when I was losing, I was getting even more frustrated because I didn't really want to be playing and I effectively had to. And I ended up losing a lot more in terms of buy-ins than the reward was. And I think a lot of people do that. So my advice, guys, in terms of focus is obviously, first of all, make sure you focus when you're playing, right? Make sure that you are paying attention to your tables. Nothing is distracting you, but make sure you're in a good frame of mind as well. And if you think you're getting tilted, recognizing tilt whilst playing is very, very difficult. So I'd advise taking breaks. I take a break now when I stream every 500 hands or so. That way I can reassess. I can assess how I'm playing, how I'm feeling. I'll go downstairs. I'll make a cup of tea. Do whatever you need to do. Just take, get away from those tables, assess your own mind state and see, you know, if, if, if you want to continue playing. And I generally wouldn't be grinding for rake back alone. I would be grinding when you want to grind play when you want to play so maybe 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 it's just me getting a bit older now when i was younger i could grind a lot more i was happy to grind consistently you know i wasn't getting tired as quickly and stuff like that but i still think that you know you, you need to definitely assess your situation and make sure that you're playing well and that you're playing when you want to play so the second thing guys is game selection now again it sounds pretty obvious this could be picking the table with the most fish. Uh, if you're playing live, it could be picking a site online wise, which has the lowest rake and the best rate back and stuff like that. But I don't think enough people are actually choosing the softest places to play and actually the best games to play in. So I did do a video guys, which I'll link in the description about where I think the best places to play online poker are. 
Didn't really talk about ACR so much, but I think ACR is probably one of the best places. But if you consider you're going to start playing a certain stake and all of the sites have this stake, you want to be picking a site that has good player pools. You don't really want a lot of regs. That was why Party Poker was so tough because there was a lot of regs grinding for rate back. So all the fish just came in and got absolutely destroyed. But at the same time, you do ideally want to play in a low rake environment or at least, you know, a site that has decent rate back. I think ACR is a great shout. Obviously, I am effectively promoting or shilling ACR, but I think it's a good shout when they have such a ridiculously good bonus up to $2,000. But that is basically on top of any normal rate back anyway. I think that if you're going to play, especially online cash games, you want to go and if you don't have accounts on any site use this bonus get get this bonus because that is free money and it only comes about once you you generally only get these bonuses as a new player so i think that if you're going to play cash you should go and try every single site see what you prefer in terms of software as well if you don't enjoy it you know you you you, you might not be playing as well you might not staying you might not be staying focused going back to point number one but i think that if you do this you'll have an overview of what the pools are like you really get to game select you know you, you're going to be able to pick which one you prefer as well as taking advantage of all these bonuses and seeing what rate back and stuff you get which is just going to add to your overall ev and i just think that people in general are just going to play on one site on stars so many people play on stars and they'll be like well i like stars you know the the, the software is good and stuff like that that's all well and good if you enjoy it and if you're making money but you know imagine that there's a place softer than stars and you can get rate back on top of that i was getting the exclusive poker challenges so many people I know weren't getting those at all. And they, so they got like such, like so little rate back. And it's very, um, the way that stars do it is that they're not very transparent about it. So you could get, you know, 10% or 20% or whatever, and you don't really know what you're going to get month to month. Whereas other sites have like a flat rate back and stuff like that. And I just think not enough people are game selecting. And obviously when it comes to live poker, you really need to be, you know, selecting whichever tables are the best. The same as if you play regular tables online, you want to be putting yourself in the softest games. That's what poker is all about. It's all about utilizing your edge over weaker players effectively, which takes us to point number three, exploiting fish. It sounds so easy. Everyone's really into this GTO stuff now. And I understand it having a base theory approach is obviously going to be good because if you want to deviate from, you, you need something to deviate from if you don't know a, a solid strategy you know i've played for poker for 12 years even if i didn't know gto i still had a strategy that i learned from experience and you know got helped by others from experience and built on that even if that wasn't exactly gto i still had a strategy that was working so gto was all well and good but the most money that you will make in poker is by exploiting the weaker players so you don't want to play gto against all of these weaker players even though gto is going to be winning and you are going to be making money in general by using that approach you're not going to be making the most money by taking that approach and again this sounds like a really obvious thing where a lot of people will be like i know but then you know even even some players that i know that are good even some streamers i see them play and then take a very you know gto sort of line uh, okay we should be checking this board or, or we should be betting this board or whatever we should use smaller sizes and they're against total whales where you, you're just missing out on so much value when you have a good hand just because they're not going to be paying that much attention effectively so you can just start betting pot and again it sounds so obvious and be like well yeah i know these things like you know i know to stay focused i know to pick, pick the softest games and i know to exploit the fish but i think these three things are just things that people are just not doing enough and of course it's hard to say just oh yeah go and exploit because people always ask oh what exploit should i use and it's like well effectively when you've got a really good hand just bet really really big when against fish that's like a like a, an easy obvious one and i get it people might not want to stray from theory because they don't know how to exploit and they're worried about leaving themselves open for exploitation themselves to, to be exploited i just wanted to just get this out there I, I like i say people are going to say yeah we know these things and just be like well yeah you're chatting shit and it's like fair enough but at the same time if you look at my graph from let's say you know party poker when i wasn't really that focused i was playing in tough games and i wasn't really using exploits because i couldn't because i had so many games i was just trying to do a solid theory and you look at that graph and then you know you go to let's say poker stars graph or acr graph although i don't have that many hands on acr where i've now take taken it down to two tables of zoom i'm paying a lot more attention to it so i'm focusing a lot more i'm trying to use exploits a bit more and the results are just so obviously different it's just really made a huge you know a huge impact to, to my win rate 
So yeah, guys, a little rant over. Um, if you've got any questions or anything about any of it, or you know, if you want me to expand on it in any way, then by all means, let me know. I normally go on like just random little rants in the cash game review sessions, or just in the middle of hands when I'm on Twitch. So if you're not already following me on Twitch, guys, please go and do so. I'll leave a link in the description as always. Just try it. Just try some things. You know, in terms of focusing, just one of the latest reviews that we did for Iris No Comply. I said, you know, maybe you should go down to one table because, you know, he's playing two tables and maybe making some mistakes or, you know, not focused enough or even actually missing out on hands because or they've used all the time bank and, you know, they, they can't focus on two tables at once. And just doing this whilst you're still learning is just so important. And I don't think enough people are doing it. They're just like, I'm at the micros. I don't want to be at the micros. The more tables I, I play, the more money I'll win. And they just completely ignore it. But yeah, good luck at the tables, guys. Try and utilize these things and let me know if any of these pay off.